It's like trying to solve a jigsaw, except all the pieces are wet, so you can't really fit them together, but you're just trying to gather to make a picture of what it looks like. Our lab studies genetic history and the evolution of disease uh, in the human past. I specifically work on teeth, so we can get in, uh, systemic infections that get trapped into the teeth because they act like this time capsule uh, protecting the pathogen DNA. When we do this shotgun sequencing, so we sequence absolutely everything in the tooth, including the microbial DNA, we found three genomes in Britain from the late Neolithic, early Bronze Age. So this is about 4,000 years ago. Two teeth at Charles House Warren and the one tooth in Levens, uh, we saw that we had excess hits to a pathogen called Yersinia pestis, which is also responsible for pandemics such as the bubonic plague and the Justinianic plague. This is the first time we've ever seen a uh, plague spread this west in this at this time period. Once we detect a hit of Yersinia pestis, we can go back and do this experiment called capture enrichment. So we use these baits and they go into the sample and they pull out anything that looks similar to Yersinia pestis. We can try and create a complete genome to see what's been lost over time. By understanding the past, we hope to understand uh, how disease or infectious disease evolve um, and understand better this evolutionary arms race that infectious disease has with um, its hosts, um, including us humans.